Tomorrow is the groundbreaking event for your Virginia project. What does this milestone mean for the company and the project and what significance does it actually have? So this has been, this has been the culmination of many, many years of work. <clears throat> this now marks the, um, the commencement of construction which will see us build a gas gathering pipeline which will allow us to connect all of the wells to get all of the gas to one centralized point. Up to now the, um, the pilot plant which we've been running from is, um, is, only one pl is only one well by itself. Whereas now we have the ability to connect all 12 wells, which obviously gives us economies of scale. But then more importantly, it also lays the foundation for all new future wells to be connected into the pipeline. Now tomorrow's event is literally going to be the, uh, the commencement of construction and digging the trenching to lay the piping in. So it's, uh, it's quite a big achievement and quite a big milestone for us. <laughs> uh, what's the way forward now? I mean, what more still needs to be done after the events? So the event will mark obviously the commencement of construction. Mm -hmm. There, we've already plotted the way and the pipe, the, uh, the the pathway for the pipeline. It's now a lot of trenching. It's laying the pipes. It's um, putting in the valves, the water dropout, the water drainage, um, booster stations, um, as well as preparation of each individual wellhead. This is a process which will probably carry on until the beginning of 2021. While simultaneously in China we have the manufacture of the equipment which is then being containerized in modular fashion. That will come down to South Africa um, in early 2021 and everything will then be put on site and erected and connected. Mm -hmm. uh, Renogen is actually featuring an engineering news as top project feature for the year. So personally do you consider it a top South African project? Uh, so, uh, look, I, I, I'm slightly biased on that one. <laughs> I would like to think so, and thank you. Um, the, uh, it's not a top project like, say, some of the big mining projects over here that require billions and billions of investment. Mm -hmm. Where it is a top project is that it is a first of its kind um, in many respects. It's a first of its kind in terms of the nature of the gas, in terms of the concentration of the helium. It is also at this stage only the pilot project. There is another project after this. There is a phase two to our project, which is significantly larger, at which point we get, then get the economies of scale of a much, much bigger project. So yes, I think it is important. It's important because we are now the first commercial LNG operation in South Africa, and that has not been done before. It marks South Africa becoming one of eight countries in the world to export helium, that is a major event for the country and it puts us on the map. You know, what Renogen is doing over here puts South Africa on the map in global terms. So I think it is one of the important projects in South Africa. Do you think it could be the boost that the country actually needs? No, I, I'll be honest, I don't think it is big enough to be the boost that the country needs. I think that the country needs more than just one company's efforts. It needs everyone to collaborate. It needs everyone to put their differences behind them and for everyone to work towards one common goal. That's the public sector, that's the private sector, that is people in their own capacities. Um, I don't believe that there is one single silver bullet for one company that is capable of doing that. Okay. Perfect. Um, and then uh, is there anything that you would like to add, specifically highlights? Um, no, other than just to say, you know, watch this space. We've <laughs> obviously got the drilling going on. Um, there, are lots of, there are lots of initiatives underway and we're really hoping that this project marks the start of South Africa's upstream economy um, from a gas perspective because the sooner that South Africa is capable of developing its own natural gas resources the less we need to import and obviously as an export driven economy the more the less we import and the more we export that's just better for everyone.